Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about Ludwig's angina. This is a concise presentation for medical students. The submandibular space is a facial space of the head and neck. It is located on the superficial surface of the mylohyoid muscle between the anterior and posterior bellies of the digastric muscle. The submandibular space is divided into two compartments by the mylohyoid muscle. The two compartments are the sublingual compartment which is located above the mylohyoid and the submaxillary and submental compartment which is located below the mylohyoid muscle. This picture shows the submandibular space. Ludwig's angina is also known as angina ludovici. It is an infection of submandibular space. It is a serious potentially life threatening cellulitis or connective tissue infection of the floor of the mouth. It is named after German physician Friedrich von Ludwig. It should not be confused with angina pectoris. Angina means strangling. The condition is named as Ludwig's angina because of the feeling of strangling in this condition. This is how a patient with Ludwig's angina presents to you. Now let us see about the etiology of Ludwig's angina. The most common cause for Ludwig's angina are dental infections. About 80% of the cases of Ludwig's angina are due to dental infections. Other causes include submandibular sialadenitis, that is infection of the submandibular salivary gland, injuries of oral mucosa and fractures of mandible. Now let us see about the bacteriology of Ludwig's angina. It is a mixed infection, that is both aerobes and anaerobes are involved. The most common organisms involved in Ludwig's angina are alpha hemolytic streptococci, staphylococci, bacteroids. Other rare organisms involved in Ludwig's angina are Haemophilus influenzae, Estrechia coli and Pseudomonas. Now let us see about the clinical features of Ludwig's angina. There will be dysphagia that is difficulty in swallowing or odinophagia that is pain during swallowing. There will be trismus that is difficulty in opening the mouth. When the infection is localized to the sublingual space, the structures in the floor of the mouth are swollen. The tongue is pushed up and back. As the infection spreads to submaxillary space, the submental and submandibular regions become swollen and tender with woody hard feel. And there will be laryngeal edema. Now let us see about the complications of Ludwig's angina. That is, if Ludwig's angina is not treated properly, it can lead to airway obstruction due to laryngeal edema and swelling and pushing back of tongue. Ludwig's angina can spread to the parapharyngeal or retropharyngeal spaces. It can also cause mediastinal infections. It can lead to septicemia and aspiration pneumonia. How do you treat a case of Ludwig's angina? Systemic antibiotics can be given. Incision and drainage of abscess should be done. There are two ways for incision and drainage. They are intraoral and external. Intraoral route can be done when the infection is localized to the sublingual space. And external route can be done when the infection involves submaxillary space. Tracheostomy should be done if airway is compromised. Thank you. Please comment your suggestions. Also, if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.